Alright guys, um, today I will teach you how to backtest um, using a free uh, trade platform which is I think very underrated. It's called JForex. Um, you can backtest for free. It has a free back bar replay that works very similar to TradingView. First is you need to go to the official website. I'll just put the link in the description. Um, now uh, you're in the website. You need to hover your mouse in the platform. Click J4X4. And after that, you need to download. So it will depend on your system. And my system is 64-bit. So you need to select that one. That will depend if you're a Mac user or, a, or Linux. So that will depend. Now, after you have downloaded the J4X4, you need to create a demo account. It's very easy. Click demo. Just fill the necessary information, your number. And... After you have created your own um, demo account, you're all set. You will receive a password and email on your e uh, on your Gmail account or email depending on what email you're using. So after that, um, I will show you how to set up a. I mean, how I will show you how to set up your your J four X four. So you. So now um, I have downloaded JFrex 4. So let's open the software. I will show you how to change um, the colors of your chart, uh, your candles, your background, and how to backtest as well. Just log in. And. Let's wait. The software is actually very easy to use and it's a hundred times better than a MetaTrader. This one works very similar to um, to trading view. All right, so first is I will teach you how to change the color of your candle. So just hover your um, mouse here. So this is called the chart themes. It looks like um, a paint bucket. Click that one. And for you to change the colors of your candles, head over to the master instrument. And under that, select candles. So here, you can change the bull and the beer candle so the the bull and the beer candle the doji candle which is this one you can also change it um the the border of the bull or beer candle you can also change it okay i have um i have it changed to like a monochrome black because i like dark theme so now you know how to change the color of your candles. You can also change uh, the color of the background here and the common section then just shows background. So you can change it to whatever you like. And there's other um, objects they can change so you can just play with it. So I'm just teaching you how to change the candle and the background which is the most important. So that's how you change um, the color. Now, how to? I will teach you how to um, add um, your favorite objects. Okay. So first is for you to add an object, you need to go to this. Uh, you need to s s click the drawing tool. It's called drawing tool. If you want to draw a line, just find a short line. 
and boom you can draw it you can change it to whatever you like stroke with decoration decorations um, that's how you change so now if you don't want to click drawings and click short line every time you want to draw um, a short line you can add it as your favorite by clicking the star icon okay so if you will add it it will it will show here if you will um, click the star icon again and check it will be removed from the favorite section okay just like for example rectangle or let's say you want to add triangle you can just click on it and it will show here if you will uncheck the star icon it will it will um, disappear in your favorite section so that's how you add not just drawing um, objects but you can also add your favorite time frames so I have h4 m15 m5 and five seconds time frame added by the way, the second time frame in this trading platform is totally free. Um, and yeah, it has all of the time frames that you want. So you can just same uh, same case. You can just click the star icon if you want to add it to your favorites. Okay. For example, um, you want to have the 15 seconds time frame. So it doesn't show here, it only shows 5 and 10 seconds. So for you to add, this also applies to the minute and hourly time frames. Just click add more, um, change the tick value, uh, the units to minute, I mean seconds, if you want to add seconds. And since we want to add 15 seconds for the sake of this video, click on it and click this arrow. Okay, so it will be added here. 15 seconds just click apply and hit OK so now it's it will show here okay if you want to add it your favorite just of course click the stars so it will show the 15 seconds time frame and so if you want to click 15 seconds time frame um, it will just load up and yeah all you have to do is wait Okay, so this is the 15 seconds time frame. It's totally free. You don't have to pay anything. So that's how you um, add. It works very similar to if you want to add an hourly or minute time frame. So now um, I will show you how to back test. Okay, so fuck, I close it. Um, so go to daily time frame. Let's say um, you want to, let's back test this section right here. So all you need to do, by the way, this one is the object manager. So just click that if you want to hide it. So if you want to back test, just click this uh, replay widget. So let's say you want to uh, back test in this time frame right here. Okay. Oh, okay. After you click the widget, this option will appear, and all you need to do is click set start time. And let's say you want to start here, and boom. Okay, it will show. Okay, it will show. The. Okay, so now let's say this is our break of structure. Okay, I will teach you how to. Oh, that's that's not the right one. I will teach you how to set your orders, market or pending orders, and how to check your um, trades, back testing trades. So first is let's draw a short line. Okay, why is this a long line? I want to remove that one. So long line should be straight short line okay here you go so let's say this is our boss okay this is our boss if you want to add um, a label on it put it in the top just put boss and as you notice it doesn't show it's because the display lab label is disabled so if you want to you can also change the position have it in the center 
on the center, but it looks awful, so let's just use this one. And your order block here, okay, so let's say this is your daily order block. Okay, now um, you want to, so for you to play the price action, you can either click this one, it will play the price action for you, or you can use this one. Uh, this is a uh, candle by candle price, and you can even set a hotkey for your convenience. I set my own hotkey already, which is the space bar for the next candle. If you want to do it by yourself, if you want to set up a hotkey, just go to preferences, uh, go to hotkeys, and search next. Okay, and just click this one, double click, and hit space, then OK, apply, and OK. So now, um, if you want to do a market execution, so first is you need to um, rip, you need to click this one. This is the replay mode order widget. Okay, it's in here. So if you want to, to, to place a buy limit order, shit, that's not the right one. If you want to place a buy limit order, fuck bro. Um, let's change the unit to 100,000. Okay, so if you want to buy uh, market execution, it will show a green line. And for you to set your stop loss and uh, take profit, just drag the lines. Okay, so that's how you do it. It's already set up. If you play, if you play the price forward, you will sh it will show an indicator, which is a green icon. So that's how you you're now in the trade. Okay, that's how you set up a market execution. Now, for you, if you want to set up a limit order, just hover, just uh, press and hold. Oh, not that one. Just press and hold this section right here, and drag uh, where you want to have your entry. So let's say um, in this order block. Again, for stop loss, it, you can put it here. For your take profit, you can just drag all the way up there. Okay. Let's play. Let's play the price forward. And uh, boom! You're now triggered in the second limit order. So you can see there's a green icon right there. Um, so let's play the price forward. Boom. Okay. Both is in profit. Now, if you want to set it to break even, you can just drag the stop loss line, okay? Both is in break even, but there's currently no feature for you to take partials. Okay, first trade is it has hit TP, second hit TP. All right, so that's how you backtest. If you want to see your result, just click this. A show report icon you'll be routed to the page so as you can see um, this is your close orders you have um, two cell limit cell orders that we just deleted it will actually show here I mean it's not deleted it's actually we actually close it with a negative profit and uh, two winning trades which is two long positions you can see the profit it's positive and you can see the profit and loss in pips the dates the comment is very straightforward okay so that's how you back test and the good thing is if you will exit in the software and you will open it the next day it you will be in the same price action and you will still be in the replay mode unless you will you will uh, quit or exit in this replay mode so that's how you backtest you can play with it um it's actually very easy to use and it's totally free it's a game change game changer 
so that will be um, for that will be for how to back test um don't forget to hit the uh, subscribe don't, don't forget to hit subscribe or hit like as well this is my first video actually so okay you guys have a wonderful day